welcome back everybody to another magnetic session where we combine calinetics, calisthenics as well as some rehabilitative principles to really tighten tone and strengthen our body. We're going to get started today on our mats and we will be making use of a dumbbell weight. Mine is 1.5 kilograms, you do not need much more than that but you're also welcome to follow through without a weight. So let's get started, we're going to start on our hands and knees. You're welcome to also keep a cushion on hand and place it under your joints, under your knees. Have another one placed under the wrist if that's also a problem. So make sure that you're nice and comfortable and you have some support where you need it. To start with, you're going to want your knees just under the hips. So directly in line with the hips and hip width apart. And your arms also aligned with your shoulders, shoulder width apart with your fingers nicely spread out. We're going to take a nice deep breath in and move into our cat and cow poses. So tucking tailbone under, pull navel into spine, press the ribcage up, upper back, up all the way to the ceiling, tuck the chin in and slowly release, arching the lower back, the mid back, upper back, and extending the neck and head, so tailbone and crown facing up to the ceiling. We're going to reverse that, tucking in, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And release. Okay, let's try reverse our breathing this time. So in this position, in extension, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out as we curl up, placing the upper back. To the seat. Great. Now we're going to try reverse our breathing pattern. So in this position, try to take a nice deep breath in. Deep breaths down into the belly and breathe out through purse lifts as we curl up. And slowly release. Let's try one more time. Deep breath in, into the belly. Feel the belly rising and let's go. Pull navel into spine, tuck tailbone under, curl the spine, pressing into the upper back. Tuck the chin in and release. Arching the lower back, mid back, upper back, the neck extends. Good. Crown and tailbone up to the ceiling. Good. Now find your neutral in between those two extremes with a light tuck of the tailbone, light pull of the sitting bones together, suck them up to the belly that engages the pelvic floor and then keep the navel and the rib cage pulled up towards the spine, keeping your back nice and straight. Light arches allowed, but I do not want you to collapse. So keep a nice neutral straight spine, relax the shoulders down like you're tucking them into your back pocket, neck nice and long, chin tucked in. Good. Once your posture is set, we're going to rock forward and come back to center, working into our wrist extension mobility. As we work into our end range of motion, we'll be able to strengthen our wrists in full range of motion. Let's go for one more. Now we're going to rotate the whole arm from the shoulder. So not just taking the hand out. I want you to rotate from the shoulder so that the fingers now are facing outward. Wrist still directly aligned with the shoulders, directly under the shoulders. And we're going to rock from side to side. And so at least five on each side. You might not manage to go all the way over, so just go to where you're comfortable, where you feel a light stretch, and come back to center. Great. Then we're going to externally rotate the shoulder even more until the fingers face towards your knees. Wrist still directly in line with the shoulder, shoulder width apart. And here we're going to rock back and center. Two. Three, four, at least one more, and five. Great. Now we're going to take ourselves into our wrist flexion mobility. This time, 
we're going to turn palms to face up. It's a little bit more uncomfortable. So use a cushion or double up on your mat if you need to. So palms facing up, fingers facing forward, arms straighten up. And we're going to rock forward and center. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Now, in turn, you're rotating the shoulders till the hands face in towards each other. Again, the arms are still directly in line with the shoulder, shoulder width apart. And we're going to rock from side to side. Good. Let's go from two more. So I'm keeping aware of your posture. Don't let the tummy collapse or the ribcage kind of push down. So keep everything lifted. Good. Once you've done at least five on each side, I want you to internally rotate the shoulder even more so that the fingers are now facing towards your knees. Good, straighten out the arms. Remember, keep the shoulders pressed down away from the ears, neck nice and long. And here we're going to rock back. Small little movements. Three, four, one more at least, five. Good work. Untuck the toes if you had them tucked and sit into your heels. Good. We're going to take the hands forward into first position, position and we're going to rotate the wrists two, three, four, and five, and switch position two, three, four, and five. Good work. Shake it off. And we're going to come down onto the elbows. Good. giving a break to those wrists, elbows directly under the shoulders, shoulder width apart. We're going to tuck the toes under and we're going to do some isometric holds. So we're going to try go for 30 seconds at a time. First one, we're going to do our bent knee hovers. So keeping the toes tucked under, we're going to hover but maintain your alignment. So three, two, or one, lift. I don't want to see the knees touching, so keep the knees and the feet hip width apart. Keep those elbows hip width apart. Try not to collapse into your shoulders. Relax the shoulders down. Keep the back strong. Focus on your breathing. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Every time you breathe out through the mouth, pull the navel up to spine. Good. Tighten the tummy muscles. Tighten the glutes, feeling the tailbone tuck under, sitting bones pull together, suck them up to the belly. Good. Keep the pelvic core activated. Going for another 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten the legs out. I'm going to come forward so you can see me. Good. Into. Elbow planks. Tuck the tailbone under. Tighten everything up. Tighten the glutes. Tighten the thigh muscles. Pull the navel up into spine. Hold. Breathe. Tuck the chin in. Drop the hips a little bit. Try to get it in line with the shoulders. Feel the whole body warming up. Focus on your posture and your breathing. Let's go for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, bring the hips down. Well done. Press it out for a bit, remove all that tension. You can push the rib cage and the chest forward. Relax those shoulders down. Slowly bringing your arms down, take your hands out, in line with the shoulders, thumbs facing in towards the armpits, keep the shoulder blades back. We're going to take ourselves into a push-up. 
You can do the full version or you can do the modified version. Modified version is where you stay with your knees down on the mat. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Pull navel up to spine. Take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, pull the navel up. Take yourself straight up, holding in that position for another 30 seconds. If you want to do the full version, tuck the toes under. Tighten up the thigh muscles. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Sitting bones pull together. Suck them up to the belly. Take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, pull rib cage and belly up to spine. Hold yourself there. Keep that neck nice and long. Remember your feet are hip width apart, toes nicely spread out. Arms shoulder width apart with fingers nicely spread out. Tighten the thigh muscle, tighten the glute. Tailbone, sitting bone, tuck under, suck them up to the belly. Let's go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees into child's pose, heels together, knees quite far apart, and release. When resting, try to do at least three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, ideally through pursed lips, like you're blowing into a straw or whistling. slowly come out of it let's take yourself down onto the elbow we're going to make use of our dumbbell weight you're going to place it in that bend of the knee okay with elbows directly under the shoulders secure the weight and we're going to go into hip rotations lift the knee up off the ground bring it in out to the side up squeezing the glutes and down two good three two more one more good now we want to reverse it kick it all the way up and over and in two Three, two more, four, and five. Kick up into donkey kick position. Good. Now we're going to rotate and same side hand straightens up. Opposite hand comes forward to rest the forearm. Squeeze it, stabilizing glute. And lift up and hold. Keep the tummy pulled in. Keep the shoulders stacked over shoulder, hip over hip. Keep that knee and that heel in line with the hips, so don't let it drop. Good, keep the waist lifted, so you don't want to collapse down either. Nice straight line. Let's hold another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and one release good work bringing the hands up tuck the toes under take yourself up into downward dog walk the heels down alternating three keeping the back straight pressing the chest down towards the toes and pressing the heels down towards the mat. Your head allowed to hang looking down at the toes or looking up slightly towards the fingers. Okay, just loosening up all those muscles, working hard to hold you up in your postures. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now the leg that you had 
with the dumbbell is going to go up, holding there, kick up and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, bring it in, hold up, pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, place it down, relax into that stretch, into that hip, slowly come out of it. Now that leg that's in front of us, I'm just going to change so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so this is the leg that you were resting on. You're going to come up out of it, bring the knee behind you to a 90 degree angle, <sighs> trying to maintain nice upright posture. Hands are going to come in front of you, you can clasp the fingers in towards each other. We're going to try lift up, squeezing the hips forward, and slowly hinge back to sit. Two, tuck the tailbone under and release. Three, tuck tailbone under. Okay, two more. And again, it can be quite heavy on the knees, so place a cushion under you if you need to. Last one. And release. Good work. Back onto your hands and knees, and you're going to repeat on the other side. Well done. Remove the weight, come up, tuck the toes under into a downward dog position. Let's walk those heels up, alternating. Try to get the back straight, press the chest down towards the feet, press the heels down towards the mat. Good, releasing any tension. Three, two, and one. Now the leg that you had bent with the weight takes up, hold, tighten the thigh muscle, and pulse up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Pulsing up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down, sit into the hip, and stretch it out. Catch your breath. You don't want to rest for too long. I want the heart rate to stay up a little bit. Bring your back leg in a little bit so that it's sitting in a 90 degree angle. Good. From here, bring the arms up and we're going to try, use a little bit of momentum as we take ourselves up, squeeze the glutes and slowly hinge back. Use some support under the knee if you need to. Up we go. I want at least five. Squeeze and slowly down. Three. Good. Two more. Good. Last one. Squeeze. And release. Well done. Coming onto sideline. Elbow directly under the shoulders. Again, going to some isometric holds. There's a lot of that today. 
making sure your shoulder is stacked over the shoulder hip over hip heel over heel and that your shoulder your hips and your heels are in alignment lift the waist up make sure that you're not collapsing down into your shoulders so keep everything lifted good from here we're going to press into the knees once again make sure you have some cushioning if you need it and now i don't want you to just lift but i want you to push your hips forward so squeeze the glutes forward there we go lift and take the free hand up to the ceiling we're going to hold here for 30. focus on keeping tailbone tucked under sitting bones pull together and suck up to the belly belly pulls in lifting the waist and rib cage up keeping that alignment keeping your neck also aligned with the rest of the spine so not collapsing down or not popping up but keeping that beautiful alignment through your center let's go for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly lower down great we're going to go all the way down, resting our head, our palm. Again, you're in that beautiful alignment. Shoulder, hips and heels. The knees are bent forward. Lift a little bit of the waist up so that you align your spine. So kind of pulling the top hip down a little bit to align the spine so you're not crunched up. Okay, so make sure that you have that beautiful line. You're going to grab hold of your dumbbell. You're going to place it just above the knee. Press into your heels. We're going to go into our clams for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Squeeze the glutes, press into the heels, pulsing up for ten, nine, eight seven six five four three two and one release good now we're going to bend the elbow into bicep curl keeping the elbow into the waist and release down straighten up bring it in and straighten three keep it aligned four And five come to 90 degree center we're going to drop the weight down towards the ground belly elbow does not come down with it so keep the elbow press down into the waist shoulders are set great and we're going to go into external rotation and slowly dropping down opening up to keep light tuck of the tailbone pull the tummy in keep it engaged no arching of the back good I want at least Five years, so I'm going to show another two. Good, another one. Bring it to center. Now, from here, I want us to try punch forward for one. Bring it in into row. Punch, keeping the shoulder down away from ears, keeping the arm aligned. I don't want the elbow to kind of press down. Keep everything lifted and beautifully aligned. Let's punch. Bring it in. Good, three more. You can do it. Two. Last one. There we go. And rest it out on top of that leg again. This time straightening the leg out. Again, press that heel away. Not crunching into the waist, but press it down. Good. Flex the foot. From hip position, we pulse up. One, two three, four, still keep the tailbone tucked under, tummy pulled in, good, let's go for another three, two, and one, holding there, taking the arm all the way up, and all the way down, let's just do five, two, arm is facing down towards the leg, three, keep that shoulder set away from the ears, four, And five. Good work. Bend the knee in. 
drop the weight. We're gonna come up. And now we're gonna take ourselves into an isometric hold with straight arm and bent knees. So again, no collapsing into the shoulders to keep everything lifted. I'm gonna pop forward so you can see me better. There we go. Still shoulders, hips and heels are aligned. We're gonna lift up. You can use your free hand to help you up and then come into alignment. So I don't want you to just lift, but I also want you to pull the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, tucking the tailbone under your free hand on your hip or otherwise up to the ceiling. And try to hold yourself up here, keeping that waist lifted, keeping tummy pulled in and engaged, tailbone tucked under, sitting bones pulled together and sucked up, also engaging that pelvic floor. Good. Keeping the neck aligned with the rest of the spine. Good, let's go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one slowly release great let's take a break from that wrist you can do a bit of rotations bring it into flexion and extension good into our next set of isometric holds we're again going to go into a sideline plank this time we're going to straighten those legs out so your top leg is going to come forward back and your bottom leg is going to go back Again, you're welcome to use your free hand to lift you up. Tuck tailbone under, pull tummy in, keep that waist lifted. You're gonna come up, really push into that front leg. Push those hips forward and free hand up to the ceiling or on the hips. <sighs> keep breathing. You can drop the back leg down if you feel that lifting both is too much for you. Always try to keep that up. <sighs> if you can't do 30 seconds, try just 10 and come down into the modified plank hold that we had earlier or just dropping that knee down <sighs> going for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 lower down relax your head in the palms tuck the tailbone under good again be careful that your hip is scrunching up towards the waist I want you to really focus on pulling it down so that you align the hips properly and you also straighten the spine out a little bit. <sighs> Grabbing hold of that weight again. Let's go into our clams, bringing the weight on top of that leg just above the knee into our clams. Squeeze the glutes and slowly down. Two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it there, pulsing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly bring it in. Into bicep curls five times. And slowly down. Two. Try not to arch the back, keep the tailbone tucked under. Three. Good. Four. And five. Bring it to 90 degree, keep that elbow stuck there. And we're gonna internally rotate and externally rotate. Good. Two. We have what your shoulder's doing, keeping the shoulder rolled back and down. Three, four, and five. Bring it down to 90. Keep that arm in 90, so no collapsing. And punch forward and bring it into a row. Good. Two, keeping the elbow close into the waist. Good. Draw that elbow back past the waist. Two more. Punch and row. One more, punch and row, good work. And let's rest it again on that leg, lifting the leg up into hip height, flex the foot. Good, again, press that hip down. From here, tuck the tailbone under, pull the tummy and rib cage in, pulsing up from hip height. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it, leg where it's at into our arm. Light bend in the elbows a lot. Just come to 90, shoulder level, and slowly down. Two. Three more. Good. One more. Very nice. Bring that weight down. Come up. Working to another asymmetric hold with straight arms into our straight leg sideline plank. You can use your hands to assist you. Again, your top leg goes forward, bottom leg goes back. We're going to push into the balls of the feet of that front foot. And I want you to now align the hips, align the shoulders, and try to keep up. You can always drop that knee down. See how long you can keep yourself here. We're aiming for 30 seconds. Keep the tailbone tucked under, tighten the thigh muscles, lift the waist up. Keep the shoulders down, away from the ears, leg long. Good. Can we do another 10? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Move into your flexion. Shake it off. Good. Now I want you to repeat all of that on the other side. Knees are bent, hip width apart. We're going to roll off the sitting bones onto the tailbone. Grab hold of your weight. Keep the shoulders pressed down, neck nice and long. Good. See if you can lift the feet up a little bit. Work small into our core. Grab hold of the weight. You're still bringing it in. And towards the knees. Two. Three. Four. Five. From here we're going to punch diagonally up. One. And row. Two. Three. Four and five. Hold it there. We're going to march. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Press up, release. Good. Straightening up. Lean back off the sitting bones onto the tailbone with a straight back. Relax the shoulders back and down. Bring the heels in a little bit. Hover up. Knees are aligned with the hips, so they're not touching each other. Good. You grabbing hold of the weight. One hand on either side. Bring the elbows in and into bicep curls. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Punching diagonally up one and row. Two, row. Three, working into the tummy muscles. Two, and five. Good. Keep it forward and we march. One, two, three, four, and five. Good work. Come forward. forward making sure you've got enough mat behind you we're going to slowly roll down keep the weight close to you tuck tailbone under try to get the lower back down first pull navel to spine good and bend mid back and upper back good knees are hip width apart feet are nice and flat light tuck the tailbone press the lower back down press the rib cage down so you should feel the whole spine from the crown all the way down to the tailbone press gently against the mat 
Can't you breathe? Move your neck from side to side. There should be no tension in your head, neck and shoulders. Placing the hands down at the side, palms facing down. Bring the heels as close as is comfortable for your knees to the glutes. Tuck tailbone under, maintain that tuck, pelvic tilt and lift up. Good, trying to get your hips aligned with your knees. You've got the beautiful line from your knees through your hips and to your shoulders. Not allowing your back to arch, maintain tuck tailbone under, hold it there. And we're going to pulse up for 10, 1, 2, pelvic tilting as we pulse. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take our weight ever so slightly onto one leg as we try to lift the other leg up and extend for one, two, three. Try to keep those hips level. Don't let them drop. Good. I want you to at least do five knee extensions. Good. And slowly bring it down. Tuck tailbone under. Lift again. Good. Let's pulse up for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shifting the weight ever so slightly into the other leg. Lift the knee up to 90 and let's extend for one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Bring it down, tuck tailbone under, lift. Last 10 pulses up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and ten good work when we're coming down i want just to go down segmentally pressing the chest down first good followed by the rib cage upper abdominal muscles navel lower abdominals press the lower back down hips and glutes well done grabbing hold of your weight securely Good. We're going to take it up above the head and we're going to bring the knees up to 90. So bring one leg up, followed by the other leg. Good. Now we're going to tuck the chin in and we're going to try extend and reach up towards the ankles and release. We're doing just five of those. Extend, reach. Now, light bend in the elbows, you come up, tuck the chin in. Two more. And one more. Good. Now you're going to try and maintain a straight leg. Grab hold of the weights in one hand, and we're going to do a figure eight. Now be careful, you don't want the weight to fall on you. So nice and controlled, keep the navel pulled into spine. Four, five, and switch direction. Two, three, four, and five. Good, come down. Stretch his legs out. I'm going to bring one knee in, tuck the tailbone under, punch up. Tighten that thigh muscle, flex the foot. We're going to try to bring that leg all the way up to touch the weight. Two, good, three, four, and five. Hold it there. Tuck the chin in and pulse up for one, two, three, four, and five. Good work. Bring it down, switch, extend the other leg out, tighten the thigh muscle, flex the foot, pulling the toes up, pelvic tilt, pressing the lower back down. Let's go. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, and five. 
hold it there, tuck the chin in, up we go, pulse. Two, three, four, and five. Release, take it down. Good work. Bring the knees up, bring the arms down. Bring the arms up, tuck the chin in, keep the tailbone tucked under, keep the lower back press down. Tuck the chin in, we're going to crunch forward, knees down, come up, release, crunch forward, drop the heels, come up, release, tuck the chin in, crunch forward, keep the lower back press down, release, come up, crunch, good, let's go for five more, crunch up, Drop the heels and lower. Four. Good. Crunch up. Drop the hips. Good. Release. Let's do three more. Crunch. Hips down to mat. Bring them up. Lower. Crunch. Drop the heels. Come up. Lower. One more crunch. Drop, bring them up, and lower. Good work. Let go of the weight. Roll the head from side to side. Hug the knees in, and rock from side to side. Here we can rotate our ankles. Right. 